Hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel, this time for another tutorial on the equilibrium constant expression Kp. Some Kp and Kc scenarios can be very tricky to visualise in exams. One such example is when you are asked by an exam question to explain in terms of Kp how the position of equilibrium has shifted subject to a change in pressure. Now the overwhelming temptation here is to explain the shift in terms of Le Chatelier's principle, but unfortunately that won't answer all aspects of this kind of challenge, as the question has angled the task in terms of Kp, i.e. using the Kp expression's actual terms. Furthermore, we learn in the course that Kp doesn't actually change when the pressure is adjusted, so our answer needs to include some sort of explanation of that. To help see how we should respond to this, and to frame a scenario for you, I'm going to use everybody's favourite, the harbour process. And what I'm going to work with is the context that we are increasing the pressure. For a shorter written version of what I'm going to describe now in more detail so you can understand it, please refer to the video description after this tutorial. Now, sticking to just Le Chatelier's principle first, because we do still need to include this kind of discussion, we would state that due to the fact there are fewer moles on the right-hand side of the harbour process equilibrium, the position of equilibrium will shift to the right. But this doesn't relate enough to Kp, and certainly isn't in terms of Kp, as you can see on screen now with the Kp expression. So let's delve deeper into this Kp expression. If the pressure is increased, this impacts each of the partial pressure terms on the numerator, the top, and the denominator, the bottom, of the Kp expression. If we expand these terms, we can see that each partial pressure is a product of the mole fraction for an individual gas multiplied by the total pressure of the system. Therefore, increasing the total pressure of the system will increase both the numerator and the denominator in the Kp expression. In this example of the harbour process, the denominator will actually increase more than the numerator because there are more terms on the denominator which include pressure. If we examine this closely, we can see on the denominator we've got the partial pressure of the nitrogen multiplied by the partial pressure of the hydrogen cubed, whereas on the numerator we've just got the partial pressure of the ammonia squared. So there's definitely more terms including pressure on the denominator. As a result, if we left things at this point, the value of Kp would decrease. This doesn't happen though, and Kp will remain unchanged overall after this process takes place, because as mentioned before, the position of equilibrium is still, according to Le Chatelier's principle, going to shift to the right-hand side. This then increases the mole fraction of the numerator and means that despite the increase in pressure, the Kp is restored and overall is unchanged. That's it for this tutorial about Kp and how it remains unchanged overall despite a change in pressure. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like before you go and consider subscribing to stay updated. Please click the links on screen now to be taken to more video content relating to physical chemistry in A-level chemistry. Until next time, happy revising.